Welcome back to another episode of 4 Drive Adventures NZ. Today we're heading to Ashburton to take on the annual Ashburton River Run, also known as the Poker Run. Woo! Oh, that's a big sexy beast. And the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, it's on the stick. What do you know? After a quick stop off for oil, for me, Ethan and I are joined with Carl, who you may recognise from the Ashley River Run video earlier this year. But it wasn't long before we were back on the road south, towards Ash Burton, to meet up with Taylor and Stella. Two dollars a litre. This is shit. <laughs> hey, who's this hairy fella? You got that thing out already. Snakes! Like, oh, <laughs> oh here we go. <laughs> what do you got? Yeah, good. Yeah, <laughs> good. <laughs> After a bit of roaming around, we find ourselves heading to a new meeting point, just a little more downstream. <laughs> yeah, look at that snorkel. Yeah. Lost the boat. God damn. No good. One, two, three, four, five. We've got five. That'll do. See you hooked up in the front too. Yeah, I don't want to get wet when I've got to get out to put it on. We well, still get wet. You've got to get out to put yeah, it on someone else's truck, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I'm, so yeah. True. I'm not going to get stuck though. I'm just going to use lots of this. <laughs> lots of red band, you reckon? <laughs> yeah. Red band for red line, mate. <laughs> this is, this is sick. There you go. I'm bloody good. How are you? Not too bad. Pretty guy started this river run in no, 98. Sorry. 98. Yes, sir. 24th year. Yeah, all new. All new friends, bushes. This is a familiar face. Go, mate. There you go. Good. Good, good. <laughs> Did you enjoy the last one? Yeah. <laughs> didn't enjoy the video, mate. No, you I didn't. didn't. I didn't recognise myself when it first started. No, no. Who's that handsome devil? Who's that old bastard? <laughs> <laughs> it's one way to bloody do it, isn't it? Yeah, well, we'll do that when you get home, eh? Yeah, you go yeah, yeah. Bring it around to your place. Yeah, I'm good with a grinder. <laughs> good on, grinder. <laughs> so this is probably the most year it's had the most water for a while. Okay. So, good, good to see all bees knees here. Be bees knees is back. I just got told um, that this is probably the most water in the river they've done in a couple of years. It makes my butthole go like this. <laughs> hey, yeah, it's alright, they've got a bloody lifeboat this year. That's probably easy, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> After a quick catch up with some familiar faces and meeting some new faces, we finally take a spot on the riverbed to figure out if we should even take part as the water was really flowing. Why are we just up there, eh? Are we going to go across first or are we going to wait for someone else? No, wait for someone else, I'm not going. <laughs> Unless you want to go first. <laughs> oh shit. What? Yeah. Here we go. Oh. It's not too bad. Oh. After watching a few other trucks make their way through the river to the other side, Taylor slowly comes up with a plan to get us across. Surely if Glenn's got that, we've got it. Well, I just seen where the 80 went. He went up there. Yeah, he can barely even come over the bottom. I'm definitely not going in here. <laughs> All right, so go over there, you reckon? Right, follow you. After figuring out what we were going to do, we take place and get ready to cross. I don't quite know how everyone else is feeling at this point, but personally, with Vic and I, we were getting pretty nervous. Gotta get a bit cold there, mate. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Well, as you can tell, the feeling was pretty mutual around the crew that we were feeling pretty good after the first crossing. The base was firm, and if you hit it with the right angle and the right speed, <laughs> we were sweet. Strapped down to that, like straps. Yeah, <laughs> You're not even stretching it down. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, we ran out of ratchet straps. Oh, just to save you. <laughs> this poor bloke on the top's gonna eat shit. <laughs> Feeling a bit better now?
proves that it's got moisture missing the other side. There you go. Yeah, the moisture missile was coming in the driver's window. Yeah, the moisture missile was uh, floating. Yeah. The surf's about to be as well. I'll get out for this one. Then disaster struck. Brings a whole new meaning to moisture missile. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> the moisture I don't missile. Think the snorkel went underwater though. And I yeah, they're probably going to get. I, All you've got to do is pull the glow bug down. This should run. I reckon. From what I can tell, everyone inside the moisture missile <laughs> was okay. And they even managed to get it going again too. Time to get the camera out, I guess. After a bit of fun, a lot of fun, watching, watching those people get stuck in that bog hole, literally left, right and centre, we carried on to try and make it to the beach. But as we were all crossing a pretty deep section of the river, this happened.
try to stop quickly. Give it a wee bit of a tug. I definitely had a massive sigh of relief as I pulled them over that last little hill. But that's what this stuff is all about, helping each other out. Nice work. Rescue done. And what makes it worse is now that we get to cross the same section that these poor blokes and their passengers got seriously stuck in. You can just imagine the tension right now. Now, I'm no expert, but this seems to be what it takes to get through safely. Go with the current, don't try and fight it. Using the right amount of speed, put your game face on and just commit. Mess it up even slightly and you could find yourself in some serious, serious trouble, especially when the water is this high. <laughs> At this point, the adrenaline is high, and we're absolutely amping to carry on. But the biggest truck in our convoy, Carl, gets himself into a spot of mischief. definition of scent and I don't know what it is. <laughs>
that's not a good angle. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> ourselves nearing the end of the day and the river run but not without the river run throwing us a rope and pulling it straight back without us <laughs> we come to probably the deepest crossing yet As we celebrated our success and wet carpets, unfortunately the truck coming over after us didn't quite make it the whole way. You'll have to excuse the footage as I didn't realise the camera was on time lapse and more importantly I had to let the camera go as people's lives were at risk. Luckily again everyone in this truck was physically okay at first glance and very lucky indeed. Second person today you've saved, bro. <laughs> yeah. I built this piece of shit, so I should be right. How'd you build it? Well, my mate, he finished it off, and he owned it now, but I built it originally. Right, we can lift How 
was that, Carl? Yeah, how it is on the bottom. Mean. today like a lot It was becoming more and more obvious that we were getting closer to the sea. The seagulls were flying around, the air was salty, and both Ethan and I got stuck. Yep, I'm blaming the ocean. What makes getting stuck even worse was that I got stuck in pea gravel. So I had stones stuck for ages in places I didn't even know you could get stones stuck in a vehicle. I can see the ocean. And that was it. We'd made it to where the river meets the ocean. We couldn't quite make it to the river mouth as the area was protected for bird nests. I think that's the exit over there. So we took the final exit track off to the right of the river, but not without a wee surprise parting gift waterhole. River runs and or any water crossing can and always will have their risks, and we know that going into this which is why I cannot stress enough to be so cautious when attending these types of events. Mistakes can happen and you need to be prepared for that, which is why, personally, I always cross water without a seatbelt and my windows down. I say it every time we make a video regarding water, be safe when it comes to crossing any body of water. But do it right, with the right conditions, and you'll have an absolute blast. A group of mates forward driving is always a great time just make sure you do it safely no matter what you are doing thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed please leave a like and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button it's free and it helps us out immensely also why not check us out on instagram at 4wd underscore adventures underscore nz and see all of the behind the scenes and catch up with what we do in our spare time but don't go anywhere yet as we still have the best parts these are our bloopers. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much.
Yum. <laughs> Typical Toyota making running repairs. Hey, sit down. Oh, I knew you were going to Get a wheel gag. You're taking it on the Mesa. Must be cool though, owning a Ford. Hey, real cool. I'll go to the tour then, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. You're good, buddy. TD life. Are you hot? TD dream. Yeah, we're hot. Oh, you want a coffee? Got the kid the, the the reason why people are starting down here. <laughs> oh, just keep in the dude having a burst. Um, sorry. <laughs> sorry, bloke. Um, is that my drinky? I want food. <laughs> 